Hey everyone, and welcome to the second episode of our Java OpenGL game development tutorial series. If you remember from our first episode, uh, we got uh, Joggle downloaded and added the jars to our project, and we copied the natives uh, for whatever operating systems we want to support. In my case, that's Mac OS X Universal, uh, and I'll probably add other ones as I need to. It's just this is all I need for development. And you've probably added other ones for your operating system and whatever operating systems you want to support. Um, and we told the uh, jars to use the native library location that is this folder called natives. Um, so let's go ahead and get started making a window that allows us to display graphics on OpenGL. So we're going to go to new package. I'm just going to call this one org.graphics. And I'm going to create a new class in the package called org.graphics. I'm going to call this class renderer. We'll finish it up. Now, we're going to want a private static GL window. Uh, we'll call it window. Set it to null. I'm going to go ahead and import that. And if this import fails, it means something went wrong whenever we were trying to set up Joggle for our Eclipse project. You'll have to go back and see what went wrong. But it should import properly. And uh, for those of you who don't know, a little shortcut to import things uh, quickly is Command-Shift-O. At least that's the way it is on Macintosh. It might be slightly different on Windows, um, but that's how it is on my Macintosh. It's incredibly useful. And that's in Eclipse, of course. So, we're going to create a public static void, and we'll call it init for initialize. And this will be called um, externally from something else. It'll be called to initialize the renderer. So the first thing we've got to do before we do anything else, glprofile.init singleton. And this, they said this is something you're supposed to do before you do anything else in your in your uh, Joggle program. Now we're going to basically set up a GL profile that is uh, that tells basically what version of OpenGL we want to use, and therefore what features we need, you know, to have available to us. So I'm going to say GL profile profile equals GL profile dot get gl profile dot gl2 because we want to get we want the capabilities of OpenGL2. Um, if this step fails, it means that uh, somebody's got something that's out of uh, you know that's that's earlier than OpenGL2, and this would fail. If it fail, if that happens, the com person's computer is probably so old that it wouldn't run our game in the first place. But anyway. Um, so geo profile profile this kind of gives us a lot of compatibility basically it's not the most recent version it's old enough to support some of the older uh, systems but not so old that it doesn't have any of the features we want okay now we're going to create something called gl capabilities we'll call it caps equals new gl capabilities and we'll pass it uh, profile and Command Shift O imports. This basically gets us the capabilities associated with this uh, profile. So we can actually create our window now. Window equals gl window dot create and pass it caps, and we've got our window. Now I'm going to say window dot set size. For now, we'll just say 640 by 360 window dot set oh, I can't do set location relative to null I'm just going through seeing what what things I can do um, that are like in ought or swing uh, window dot uh, set default close operation um, do I pass a jframe jframe dot Exit on close. I don't think that's it. Yeah, that's not it. It takes a window closing mode. I don't know how. Uh, let's see. GL window dot. Nope. Well, 
I don't use that feature anyway, that's why I don't know how, how that's done exactly. Now, before we go any further, I should tell you there's actually two ways uh, that you can set up a window uh, using Joggle. One of them is to create a GL canvas and add it to a, you know, a frame or, or J-frame, um, you know, or swing element. Uh, the other way is to create a GL window, which basically is self-contained, kind of. I like to do it this way, uh, simply because it's more, it tends to be more supported by the Joggle people, because everything's in one thing, as opposed to uh, you creating, you know, a, a swing window or an, an AWT window and trying to get them to work together, um, which it usually, it usually does work together. It's just I prefer to do it this way. If you were not doing it this way it would be slightly different. Um, maybe I'll show you what that would be real quick. Uh, if I were to do it the other way I would say something like GL canvas canvas equals new GL canvas and I pass it capabilities um, and it would be open GL dot op dot GL canvas then I would have to create something like a frame frame equals new frame frame dot add canvas you see you know basically what you do like if you were adding a canvas to a frame normally but we're going to use gl window for our purposes window dot set resizable for now we'll set it to false window dot uh, set visible true so this should get us a window so to start with, to make this uh, um, go ahead and run, we're going to create our main method, public static void main string array args. And inside of here, we're just going to say init. And if we save that, and I tell it to run this as a Java, proje uh, Java application, do we get a window? Okay, you see, there's lots and lots of um, possible main methods, it says, um, or possible Java application starting points. So we want to find renderer org.graphics. Okay. And launching. Do we get a window? Yep. There's our window. Uh, not much to look at right now, just a black window. But uh, it's pretty cool. Um, we got that much set up, and it goes away. Why does it go away? Interesting. Oh, okay, I know what's going on. Um, that's basically how we set up a window. Um, in the next video, I will explain how we can get it to start actually, you know, rendering, like with a rendering loop, and start being able to draw stuff in the window. Uh, so if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to thank you very much for watching and subscribing, uh, and I will see you next time. Bye.